What's going on guys, Chos FM here, bringing you the booms with Double Nuke Shadow Beedrill. That's right guys, I used an Elite TM so that I could put Drill Run on my Shadow Beedrill. I've actually had this thing since Beedrill Community Day, but it had frustration on it at the time. Um, so I finally went and built this thing with Drill Run, but I didn't want X Scissor. I don't want a bait move. I don't need a bait move. We want Sludge Bomb on our Shadow Beedrill. Reason being, because of with Sludge Bomb, it can win these zero shields against Pidgeot. Pidgeot, one of Beedrill's hardest counters typically. You now win it in the zero shield with Sludge Bomb. So I was wanting to trap some Pidgeots. I mean, Pidgeot's really annoying me. Nido Queen's really annoying me. So I wanted to make sure I had a team pretty strong against both of them and that I could surprise uh, at least the Pidgeot. I mean, obviously, Nido Queens are going to know about Jorum. Uh, so I put together this team and I had a lot of fun with it. I did climb the first four sets with it. It was actually ridiculous. The very first set that I played with this team, originally I had that Hypno, it did not work. Um, but once I put in Lapras, I went 5-0 the very first set. The next set I started off 3-0 and then I lost the next two. And then I went 4-1 the third set and I think 3-2 the next one. I was like, this team is broken. I was about to put out a video right then and there and be like, yo, everybody needs to run this team. Um, but unfortunately, the next set I went 1-4 and then I took an 0-5. And it kind of just knocked me back down. So this team's a little bit hard wins, hard losses uh, is what it is. You know, either you land the nukes with Shadow Beedrill or they get shielded or you, well, it's it's fine if they get shielded most of the time, except for against things like an AWAC, um, because AWAC, they shield one draw run and then they farm you down. They have a ton of energy. So there are certain scenarios where x Scissor would come in handy. But you know what? We're doing this for fun. We're doing it for content. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. So let's jump on into some of these battles. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment down below. Just your favorite emoji will do the job. I really do appreciate it. All right, so Lapras here against Mew. They built up to the back-to-back -back wild charges there and then they made it with Surf, which is just a bad play. Um, but we'll take it. And then they come in with the Alolan Sand Slash, which is a big core breaker for this team. Lapras does pretty well against it. Of course, the Ice Shards are going to be double resisted, but if they throw Ice Punch, it's also going to be double resisted. So kind of works out that way. They are throwing right here. I know I have to survive an Ice Punch, so I think about no shielding. I call the Bulldoze after the last second and it is the Bulldoze. So we're gonna get off this additional Surf right here. Hopefully they do not shield it, but they do. They give up their final shield. Now I'm coming in with Beedrill, hoping I can make it to the drill run. They do outpace to a charge move right here. What is it going to be? It's actually the Bulldoze. They actually go for Bulldoze over Ice Punch. It does do more raw damage, and then they make this beautiful catch. Beautiful catch on the drill run. Um, and, and right there, like, you could see that Sand Slash was pretty low. I don't think an x Scissor would have taken out, but it would have put them low enough. Like, if I had it, I probably would have just thrown it. Regardless, they got a Shadow Machamp in the back. As long as they don't have Payback here, I might still be alright. I'll be close to the Earth Power coming out of this. I think I need one more Poison Jab, and my opponent knows it. As Home Slice Henry says, they see the writing on the wall, and they back out. Uh, into the next one, up against a Shadow Queen lead. Beautiful lead for my Lapras. By the way, look at these Lapras IVs. My Lapras IVs are absolutely horrible, but it kind of comes in handy in this cup. Like when you're in the mirror match, you're going to win CMP every time. So you get your Skull Bash, you get to raise your defense every time. Uh, it's kind of nice. So anyways, we're going to go for a Skull Bash here against this Dugong. It does connect, puts them at well, almost into the yellow. They're going to hit me with another Icy Wind. That's exactly what I want. I wanted them to dump their energy. I didn't want them to over farm by a bunch. Because now I can come in with Beedrill, bake a little energy on my Lapras, and keep my Lapras healthy to handle that Needle Queen. They're going to be throwing right here. I know I can farm down if I shield this and have back-to-back -back drill runs just about. But they actually swap out into Needle Queen. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this. It's only going to be a Poison Fang, which is resisted by Beedra thanks to its own Poison typing. It definitely still hurts, but we're going to make it to the back-to-back -back drill runs regardless. So here comes the first one. Do they respect the damage? Yeah, they do. They throw up a shield, but again, we're at a second one already. Shadow Beedrill going off in this game. Grabs the second shield, which is perfectly fine with me because you know what? We have a Lapras. We got a Surf loaded, I believe. So we're gonna come back in there, immediately throw the Surf. I think they were one short of being at the Earth Power, so I wanted to throw it immediately and it doesn't take out. Not quite, not quite. Um, so they are at the Earth Power here. I will respect the damage. Could also be a Stone Edge. 
but it is going to be the earth power. So we get the farm down. We have a pretty healthy Lapras and we have a Needle Queen in the back. They have an Alolan Raticate. We're just going to chip it with this Surf right here. I didn't really have any reason to overfarm there. I should have just thrown it immediately and dipped. But no big deal. Even if they throw a Hyper Beam here, I believe we will survive and make it to the Poison Fang. It's going to be a Hyper Fang. So definitely no big deal. They catch on Dugong, which I think is a mistake by them. I think they should have waited for me to dump my energy and try to get some chip with Dugong. But hey, we'll take it. And again, my opponent top lefts. You love to see it. I love it. I love it when like it's just back to back top lefts. Now, not all these are in order. I know those two were in order. I think this third one's at a different ELO range. But we have acquired our target. There it is. There's the Pidgeot. We're going for the Sludge Bomb. You can see these Poison Japs already doing quite a bit of damage. Do they know about it? No, they do not. We take out the Pidgeot with Shadow Beedrill. We regain Switch. And now we get our Needle Queen aligned with the Shadow Machamp. This team is working perfectly in this battle. Like This is exactly what I designed this team to do. We're going to go ahead and no shield if it's the payback, so be it, but it is going to be the rock side. We're going to get a nice farm down here, and they don't have any way of clearing the debuff, so we get a third top left again. I don't think those were in a row when I actually played it, but you know, I didn't put these top lefts in order. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, uh put these battles in a certain order to try to make this effect no this is just how they came onto my computer go for another sludge bomb it connects unfortunately we're not going to be able to take out that pitchy out because they did stay in with lickitung get some lick damage on us uh prior but that's all right we're gonna get an easy farm down here a little bit of energy on lapras never hurts plus we got quite a bit of chip damage with just the poison jabs on this lickitung they're going to connect with the Power Whip. No big deal. This Surf is going to be putting them deep into the yellow if it goes unshielded, which it does. Uh, and I decided to come in with Needle Queen. Two shielded Needle Queen just wins, right? Against most things. Against most things. So we're going to go ahead and shield up this Body Slam. Commit to the farm down if they do not switch out. But they do swap out. And it's going to be a Dragon Knight in the bag. Very cool to see. Like... Claps to you, traitor. However, two shield Needle Queen is about to go off because we get a shield with the first Poison Fang because Dragonite is made of paper. We're going to shield up this Dragon Claw and throw the next Poison Fang. At this point, this Dragonite's defense is dropped by two stages and it already has no defense. So we're just going to commit here. We're committing to the farm down. We get the farm down with literally like a sliver of HP and another top left. Like, I can't make this up, guys. Everybody was top left in, against this team. Um, again, I'm, I'm featuring battles from the first few sets um, because at a certain point it just stopped working. But hey, is what it is. Like I said, if you're looking for a fun team, I do recommend this team. I do, because you can climb with it and it's just so much fun. We call the Wild Charge there. They're coming in with a Primeape, so I'm going to be building up some energy. They did go up to six counters. This could be the Ice Punch, but the counters are double resisted. So I'm going to throw five more Poison Jabs and then go for my Drill Run. But Beedrill actually loses CMP to Primeape, which is super unfortunate. I don't want to go down two shields plus waste all the energy on that Drill Run, so I have to just full sack my Beedrill. I was so sad. I was so sad. But I'm hoping that Needle Queen with a shield can clutch up here. Mew comes back in. We're going to immediately throw this Poison Fang. This should grab a shield if they want to give off, get off a charge move. And they will only make it to one. Um, so yeah, we drop their defense. We're going to go ahead and shield up the potential Surf right here. It is a good shield. They should not make it to another charge move. They swap out. And in the back, it's going to be a Shadow Hitmonchan. Again, I love the Spice Trainer, but Needle Queen's going to go off right here. Unless this Hitmonchan has Ice Punch, which does it have Ice Punch? I know it has Thunder and Fire Punch. Does it? I guess it has Ice Punch, right? Normally, all three go together. Well, they throw Fire. Power Up Punch. Uh, telling me they probably have Thunder Punch as their second move. We're going to get off this next Poison Fang, taking out this Hitmonchan. We come in with Lapras to commit to the farm down. Even if they wanted to take out my Lapras, they'd have to throw a Wild Charge, debuffing their defense, and that's going to be a GG's. Another top left, by the way. Another top left. Um, so, you know, whenever I put these battles together, I counted the number of battles. I was like, why is this video like only 12 minutes or something? Um, because of normally this many battles is at least 16 to 18 minutes. Well, now that I'm shoutcasting and watching these, I guess I get it. I guess I get it, right? All right, so Hypno, we definitely don't want to see this in the back. We do eat the first Thunder Punch just to verify if they have Thunder Punch, first of all. 
Um, and then we get a shield with our Surf because Lapras can tank one. Lapras very tanky and we can shield up this second Thunder Punch right here. No big deal. We'll make it to one more Surf, but they swap out into an Alolan Muck. Now this Alolan Muck is running Snarl, so it's not near as good for Nido Queen. Uh, however, it's not a bad matchup by any means because we tank one Dark Pulse. We can throw the Earth Power, <coughs> the Earth Power, excuse me, just before they get to the second Dark Pulse. This will either take them out or get their final shield, and they do decide to let it go. So, do they come back in with the Hypno 2 farm down? If they do, I think I reach a Poison Fang. Do I make it there? No, we are just short, which is unfortunate. We're going to come back in with Lapras here um, to try to get that last shield off, if nothing else. We throw one Ice Shard, then the Surf. That's proper timing. Uh, so we'll see if they want to give up a shield right here. They actually decide to let Hypno go. In the back, it's going to be Beedrill versus Grimer. So my opponent running Muck Hole. You love to see it because we have a pseudo ground type here. This drill run will absolutely one shot. Do they call the bait? They don't call the bait, but we will just outpace here. Beedrill, too much of a beast to not close out this end game. We can short up the crunch right here. And we are at the drill run. So that's going to be a GG's well played to my opponent. And that's going to be it for today's video. You're going to see me claim a 5 0 um, here in just a second. If you enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed the spice, if you if you are happy that I used an elite TM to get drill run on my Shadow B drill, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well. And until next time, this is Chill SFN reminding you to always keep pushing forward.